Thank you, Walter Latham, man, for them checks. You gotta put them, yeah, we love it, that's right. Got my wife, dad, and and that, and paying my child support, because I got to work for you. I got two baby mothers and a wife. I mean, I ain't got no money left. I ain't no mathematician, but a third, a third, a third leaves me zero. I wanted the king of comedy and the queen of comedy to anchor the show, because I knew from experience, when you're dealing with the press, if they don't know the talent, even though they may be great, they won't embrace them, and they won't give them any coverage. They know DL, they know some more, the people know DL and some more. So in that, it gave me an opportunity to anchor the show with some known talent. But the people who are most exciting to me, no disrespect to DL and some more because they've accomplished a lot in their careers, are the, the, the four in the middle. And Jay has been doing this for a long time. It's long overdue to be seen by the masses. And Bruce Bruce and Ricky Smiley and, and Earthquake, I mean, these guys are, like, amazing. But right now, I feel absolutely stupendous. Only two people use that word, that's me and Biggie. And uh, so I continue to use it. It's going to be a great show. Everybody's going to do good because there's a lot of peace on this tour and a lot of comedians that get along and a lot of respect for each other. So get ready. Tonight, boom. When I was seven years old, I used to always want to know what's wrong with his leg. My aunt told me, your uncle is coming on here and you better not say shit about that shit. I said, yes, ma'am, I ain't gonna say nothing. I didn't say nothing, but as soon as he hit the door, I was staring at that mama. He walked in with an attitude, what the hell you looking at? I said, he looking at your big ass shoe. And this is ab absolutely the best job ever. I get up in the morning, I make people laugh, I get a big check. I love this job, this is a great job to have. See, everything is funny. Not right away, but goddamn it, after a while. Remember when your grandmama fell in the grocery store and bust her ass wide open? Well, that wasn't funny right away, but goddamn it, after a while, that shit was funny. You driving home trying not to make eye contact with her fucking ass, you looking the other way, you, you all right, big mama, you all right? No, I ain't laughing. I'm sweating, God, I'm not laughing. I want to re be remembered as funny. I don't give a damn if they don't mention my breast size. I don't give a damn if they don't mention e any one of my jokes. I want to be remembered as funny, as very unique, very creative, and courageous. You ever go somewhere to get you a home? This for real, this happened. See, that's what I talk about on stage. This stuff be real. I went to uh, I went to church one time, this lady was doing church announcement. You know what she said? She said, the wheelchair choir will be loading the bus Saturday at three o'clock. She said, the pastor has asked for all choir members to wear your short sleeve robes because the long sleeve robes keep getting caught in the spokes and we don't need another wheelchair pile up in the choir stand. Dude, I was sitting on that organ, dude. I got out that organ and politely laid down on the floor behind the bench. I was crying blood. Y'all know what's a trip. I only see white people make roach commercials. The commercial's not real. You know what I'm saying? You ever notice how clean the kitchen is on a roach commercial? Keep it real, I wanna see some dishes in the sink. Some bread left open. Some, some hot dog water on the stove. Oh, go to hell, you know y'all be leaving hot dog water on the stove. Kitchen smell like old hot dog water. Y'all know why y'all leave the hot dog water on the stove, don't you? Just in case somebody else want a hot dog. <laughs> you want a hot dog, put a winning in the ball and cut the eye on, cut the goddamn eye on. <laughs> I, I try to be as honest as I can on stage and try to be as real as I can on stage. Remember that toilet that never would stop running? Your mother coming in, who was the last motherfucker in the bathroom? Go in there and jiggle that goddamn toilet. Take your ass in there and jiggle that goddamn toilet. Sometimes you got to take the back of the motherfucker off and hold that little ball down. Don't act like it's just me, fuck y'all. <laughs> Comedy has no boundaries, man. That's just my opinion. See, that means I'm getting paid tonight. That's the looty loot dance. <laughs> See, this is the kind of dance you got to do when you get the looty. 
can't do this when you're broke. Because you ain't got nothing to dance about. But when you get the looty loot, you can do the looty loot dance. I used to do this dance when the Redskins win, but they haven't been winning. They Redskins play like they don't even practice. Like they call each other. You know we play this Sunday. You bullshit. I need an extra jersey. I'm at the mall. You got some cleats? Sorry, bastards. Any Redskins watching this tape, you ought to be practicing. <laughs> you don't supposed to have no time off. Didn't nobody tell you cut the music? Yeah, for the DJ that's just stopping when he feel like it. DJ disability. Fuck it, nigga. What's wrong with his ass? Now get off her ass, man. Bring the camera up. Get, bring the camera up. Get off the ass, man. It costs more to film the ass now. Don't, don't be filming the ass if you ain't watching. You know what I'm saying? Just a little nervous. Just a little nervous. Why they leave? Why they make me last? You know, it's supposed to be ladies first. Wow. Close it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. A lot of fucking pressure, man. I'm telling y'all now, y'all better stop fucking ass. You gonna fuck around and lose all the elasticity. You gonna be at a cookout, you gonna go to eat a hot dog, that bitch gonna fall straight to the floor. Your kid gonna be like, Mama, is that your hot dog? No, that ain't Mama hot dog. I don't know where that hot dog came I prefer to go work with the king, the queens. I prefer that. But with these guys, wow. It's, I gotta work hard. I think black comedy is the next thing wave like rap did the same thing. We're gonna drop our own individual movies and bring in 20 million. Black people gonna start getting their life together. Cause them, them, them goddamn immigrants are taking all of it. NBA fighting. <laughs> we falling out of white people grace. <laughs> <laughs>